Libras, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. We're going to see what's happening for the next 72 hours energy-wise for you. Of course, any information you need to book a personal session with me or to find me on my other social medias will be below. And if you want to see my future lives where I take personal reading questions, I do them around like 7 30 8 p.m eastern standard time so definitely check my channel then or hit the notification bell so that you can get notified and yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and jump into it i'm gonna flip the camera down so you guys can actually see the cards and what we're working with and all right libras let's go ahead and see what's going on what does the next 72 hours have in store for my libra sun moon and rising Okay, so the situation at hand, we have the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups here in, or no, yeah, in reverse. So the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the situation at hand, there could be some on and off communication between you and a love interest here. And it just seems like there's an inability to move past the true issues or the problems that have caused you guys to be on and off in terms of speaking terms in the first place. This could be cheating issues. This could be certain things that you're expecting out of your person and maybe they're not necessarily delivering and that's making you wanna shut down essentially. But you could be asking yourself the question of like, how can we move forward? And if you've been more so struggling with letting go of what this ex or this person may have done to you, it could be the question of whether or not you can truly forgive them. Hmm. I also see you guys taking decisive action over the next 72 hours or so. You could be deciding, you know what, I really want to complete this project. I really want to complete this thing that I've been working on for a while. Even though I've been like a little inconsistent, this is a time where I really want to buckle down. So you could be deciding to full force, focus your attention on your like business and maybe making the connections to elevate your business in some way. Hold on, make sure you guys can see me. And then with the Five of Cups here in reverse, you could be seeing how something worked out for you. Like you may have in the moment thought that something, like you losing your job, you breaking up with your person, you may have thought that, that was like the worst thing at the moment, but now you could be seeing how that needed to happen in order for you to come to the conclusion, conclusion that you're at now. Now let's look at your love life love what's the energy around libra's love life so we have the king of wands the two of pentacles and the judgment card so when it comes to your love life you could be dealing with a fire sign specifically really doesn't matter the zodiac sign but there's this strong attraction between you and your person and there could also be a little bit of irritation or anger below the surface either you feel this way or your person about certain issues that seem to not be getting sorted out for real it's like you guys experience extremes extreme ups and downs because of the same problems and that could be something that either this person's realizing that they need to change some things and do some things differently or again, vice versa. Take this reading how it applies. Another thing I'm picking up on for my single Libras, you could have a strong attraction to someone already, but you could be debating on whether or not to keep your options open or to deal with this person solely. There could be some things that you kind of realize in dealing with them that makes you unsure. Okay, now let's look at career and finance. What does career and finance look like for Libras for the next 72 hours? So I have the Emperor in reverse, the Tower in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. So yeah, you could have a very bossy boss or controlling boss. Someone who's the type to micromanage or to go above and beyond to try to push 
this perception of them being like this powerful person and them, you know, just kind of taking advantage of their power position, to be honest. So this could be a little annoying for you and could be making it hard for you to like, just kind of do your job. You could even have like a passive aggressive coworker if it's not a boss here, but you could be trying your best not to go off or quit, but it's almost like avoiding the net, the inevitable with the tower in reverse. This is literally the avoiding the inevitable card when it's in reverse. So although you could be trying to keep it together it could be a lot of stress that you're acquiring from like a stressful work environment or the amount of work that you may have to do and just feeling just a little overwhelmed with that. Now, what's the advice for my Libras? They need to hear for the next 72 hours. I have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords in reverse. So the advice... Make sure you're taking care of yourself and you're taking note of what's happening with your financial situation, especially if there is certain financial responsibilities that you're having to take care of on your own and you have to just make sure you have all your ducks in a row. This is not the time to be spending like crazy or going on like random shopping binges or whatnot. Okay, so definitely saving your money is going to be like a key thing. Another thing I'm picking up on, this is taking the time out for yourself. This is the perfect time to take time out for yourself. And you loving on yourself, this is not only going to help you attract people who more so are like-minded. Because they're going to value you just as much as you value yourself. People recognize when you love on yourself, when you value yourself versus someone who doesn't or may have like lower self-esteem. So the advice here is to love on yourself in the midst of you being in a situation where there is no solution with someone. Like while you rack your brain about this situation, it could be taken away from you focusing on you. Now, let's pull one final card for you. What is the message for my Libra they need to hear? So I have slow and steady. Let me read this really quick to you. So with the slow and steady card, it says, remember the old cliche, slow and steady wins the race. This is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life. Savor them. So this is a reminder that life, th there is no rush because the only finish line that you're technically going after is death. <laughs> so instead of having this like anxiousness or this feeling of needing to have everything now or needing to have everything sorted out for one that's impossible and unrealistic. And two, again, the only journey that you're on is to experience. So never forget that to where you lose sight of having fun in your journey. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight and I will see you in the next one.